Our top news this week. Sony recently released a firmware update version 3.0 for the Sony FX9, which further enhances the multicam capabilities of the camera. A major new feature in firmware version 3.0 is added support for the S700 protocol over Ethernet, which enables camera operators to control the camera remotely via various supported remote control panels. As explained by Sony certified expert Alistair Chapman in the tutorial link below, setting up your Sony FX9 for studio operation is now straightforward, as the camera already has the required SDI outputs, Genlock and Ethernet connections when paired with the XDCA extension unit. In addition, camera operators can also use a separate LANC controller for controlling zoom and focus with compatible Sony E-mount power zoom lenses. Wireless video transmission specialist Axoon has released a new affordable bundle for their popular CineI 2S Pro wireless system. The company's new one transmitter and two receiver kit gives users more flexibility in sending a wireless signal from the camera to a director's monitor and a focus puller monitor, for example. The CineI 2S Pro offers both HDMI and SDI connectivity, ensuring compatibility with professional cameras and monitors. The system also features a dual-band 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz transmission system, which reduces signal interference while providing a more stable monitoring at a range of 1200 feet with near-zero delay. Sony has just made the highly anticipated Firmware Update 2.0 for the FX6 available to download. With Firmware version 2.0, the Sony FX6 gains major new features such as external RAW recording over HDMI to the Atomos Ninja V and Ninja V+. The expanded RAW functionality makes the Sony FX6 even more versatile, with support for 4K 60p RAW captured externally by the Atomos Ninja V or V+, via HDMI. It should be noted that those users that need to capture 4K 120 frames per second RAW can still do so, however, this functionality is only available via the SDI output of the camera, when paired with the Atomex SDI module for the Ninja V and V+. And that's it for this week, we'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.